In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry of CF4. This is carbon tetrafluoride. So we have a Lewis structure for CF4. If you need help, there's a link in the description how to do this Lewis structure here. We can see there are four fluorine atoms bonded to that central carbon. And if you think about valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, those four fluorine atoms, they're surrounded by electrons. So they're going to push away from each other as far away as they can. So let's try to visualize that. So let's consider this our central carbon atom. We're going to add four fluorine atoms around it. There's one. When we put the other one, it's going to spread out as far away from this one as it possibly can. So there they spread out. Add a third one. Again, right now we have a trigonal planar molecular geometry. But when we add that fourth fluorine atom, we end up with what's called a tetrahedral molecular geometry. So the molecular geometry for CH4, that's tetrahedral. The electron geometry, that's going to be the same as well, since there are no lone pairs. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So we said these four fluorines, they spread out. That gives us the tetrahedral molecular geometry. If we weren't able to visualize that, we could also look at this table here. So if we look at our table, we said there are four things. So the steric number is four. There are no lone pairs. That's the tetrahedral. And the bond angle will be 109.5 degrees. There's also something called the AXE notation. So we'll write AXE. A is the central atom. The carbon X, that's the fluorine. We have four of those. And we have zero lone pairs. So with the AXE notation, we'd have AX4, essentially. You look that up, you'd see that it's a tetrahedral molecular geometry. Bond angle, 109.5. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for CF4, carbon tetrafluoride. Thanks for watching.